Hey guys, and welcome back. Roblox has released public UGC, and uh, people are mad. All right, if you haven't seen it, the news has been out for a couple days, opening up the marketplace to more creators. Long story short, it's public UGC. There's some good, some bad. You do need ID verification. You need to be a Roblox premium member at 1000 or 2200 or above to make avatar items and the cost for publishing items has increased. Now I'm not here to debate why any of those things are good or bad, more or less, I want to go over the community feedback because, wow, it's been nuts. Also, if you guys would like a full tutorial on how to make an item in Blender, texture it, and upload it to the marketplace, let me know by dropping a like on this video. Anyways, first things first, finally, Let's see how chaotic this is going to be. Most of these statements were made right on the announcement. While this is awesome, it's going to cause a lot more problems on the catalog. Let the wildfire begin, let's see the chaos arise. Pretty interesting update, I wonder how it'll go. Have they dealt with limited knockoffs? If not, this will be a disaster. I'm sure this is going to be just lovely. Guys, I'd say a good 80 to 90% of the community who's actually a developer on Roblox knew this was going to be a disaster. Let's look at the top two dev form posts that pop up when you type in public UGC. The titles alone, the UGC catalog in its current state is already disastrous. Reconsider Roblox is not ready for UGC to go public. Our other title being Roblox public UGC release is a disaster and there needs to be some quality control. Let's go over some of these guys' concerns and then I want to show you a Twitter page dedicated to clowning Roblox UGC. As a Roblox developer and UGC creator, it's currently too difficult call to have enough faith in Roblox to allow major changes to the public UGC catalog. There are several significant points to consider that Roblox in its current state with UGC catalog and approximately 2,000 members is unable to address these reasons would be amplified when UGC was made public. Yes guys, when there was about 2,000 creators, we already had problems, copies, and just not the greatest time. Now, I'm not gonna read all of these word for word, but I can link everything down in the description if you want. Section one, blatant copies of existing items and copyright infringement. Look at these guys. Copies of the Federation, copies of the Dominus Hood, glowing eyes, baseball cap series copies, and all of this stuff, guys. Copyrighted stuff, copyrighted stuff, more copies, more copies. Re-uploads of the same mesh with different faces. However, these faces are already on Roblox therefore not original art. Up next, we have oversaturation, discoverability, and the financial impact. Yes, guys, the more something opens up, the harder it will be to stick out, but I don't know if that's overly a bad thing. If you make high quality stuff and have somewhat of a decent way to advertise it, you're always gonna stick out a lot more than your competitors who are just re-uploading stuff. Content depicting rule violating content. Okay, okay, hold on, buddy. Like, like I'm not gonna get into my whole thoughts about this, but Andrew Tate, an individual known for controversial actions, let's not get all into that. You know, I'm, not, I'm gonna skip the top G thing, okay? I don't think that's that bad. However, <laughs> promoting these gambling websites, that, that, that's, that's worse. Uh, give my boy a break and uh, let's tackle the, uh, the gambling websites. <laughs> I'm so getting canceled just because I said anything. Oh, YouTube in 2024, boys. All right, guys, all in all, just pointing out things that are bad on UGC and that are gonna get way worse when people don't really have to worry about following directions. I could make a brand new account right now, buy Roblox Premium, and then upload whatever I want. If it breaks UGC terms of service or Roblox community guidelines, I can still upload it and it will be there at least until it gets banned. Let's see what the next person is talking about. Looks like limited knockoffs is the main point of concern. Look at this guys, 70 Robux for a Valkyrie, Dominus, 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 trophies, a bunch of stuff that is uh, way more expensive than 70 Robux. These guys are suggesting uh, some sort of a moderation. I'm not gonna fully read into all of it and this Suggestion for free limited price. I did want to get into this because the limited price now is way more than it used to be, which in my mind is a good thing in theory. 
So Roblox was probably thinking, the more expensive we make the limited price, people can't just upload stuff for free or for a very low cost and ruin the market. It's sort of one of those things where a couple bad eggs ruined the batch. If they kept stuff super cheap, a lot more people would have access to uploading anything they wanted to, which is once again why public UGC wasn't exactly ready to come out. Anyways, let's get into this uh, this meme tweet account. Here's a look at what types of items have been uploaded since UGC went public today. Some are one-to-one -one copies, but were deleted soon after that. So yes, Roblox does have a moderation that does delete this stuff, uh, but it isn't gonna stop people from making it. So we have the uh, the pumpkin guy. Oh, and they give you the originals right next to it. That's nice. So as you can see, most of these are just copies of existing items where people want to make a quick buck. Yo, hold up. The golden chalice. Like, like I'm just saying, I Roblox, you got to add this. I'm buying this if it's still up. <laughs> it's gold. I have the developer long sword. It's gold, though. That's way cooler. <laughs> I'd say there, there's a fine line, right? Obviously, we all want some items and wish they were a different color, but if we don't own the rights to making that item or distributing that item, that's where we're getting into a bit of trouble. Also, since Roblox has already built up an economy of these crazy expensive limiteds, uh, just seeing copies of them, for example, like this, the classic Roblox Fedora is 320,000 Robux. Uh, now we can have one with a red band, which is arguably cooler for, uh, you know, way cheaper. Oh my gosh, purple and black top hat. Obviously ripping on the limited top hat, way cheaper. Clockwork headphones, now in purple. Purple Valk, this is quite literally a one-to-one -one Valk right here. Oh yeah, obviously a bit of inappropriate items as well. More inappropriate items, not gonna go into why. More crazy stuff, man. Like, let's be honest, guys. Public UGC, a fantastic idea in theory. If we didn't realize Roblox is literally the house of meme lords, like everybody, if they can get away with something, they're going to try to. So giving the public access to to everybody, ah, it... <laughs> It's probably not the best idea. I'm sure the moderation is going to get better over time, and I'm sure there will be better ways to protect everyone's IP. But until then, this is going to be, uh, dare I say, a storm. Anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for today. If you want to go over any of this stuff on the free UGC and the places people are not exactly loving it, I'll have all the links down below. And if you guys, once again, want to see a full tutorial on how to make and upload a UGC item, I can do that as well. But that is going to wrap it up. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.